Hey there, backpackers. This is Demeter, and I want to share with you my um, new cook set. I'm really excited about it because it's really lightweight for me anyway. Um, it's not the lightest weight, but I really enjoy baking. Um, I've tried some different things with my trail baking, and I think I finally found something that I think is light enough, and um, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. So what I have here is a Trail Designs um, Foster's Caldera Cone, and I have the pot is from Intense Angler, and it is the Foster's pot, or um, like where he's uh, cut off the top and put the ring in with a little pot lid. And underneath it, I have a Starlight by Zelf. And you can get these with the um, calderas from Rand, or you can order them separately. Um, and I had ordered this before I actually had my caldera for the Fosters. But I just got it, and I had to try it. Um, right now, I'm just putting it out because I've been baking on it. This is a little simmering that I made. It's a little piece of titanium. Um, I just cut it into a circle, and I started out with just a couple of hole punches in it, and I continued to make the hole um, big enough to where I could continue to simmer. I could maintain a bowl on my um, pot, on my stove. So um, right now I have probably used about um, an ounce of alcohol, but I want to show you what I made here, if I can do this without burning myself. This is my baking pot and I just steam baked a little double chocolate chip paleo muffin actually this is not so little <laughs> I'm going to show this to you the cool thing about paleo cooking it's something that I've really gotten into but um, the cool thing about it is that it's pretty concentrated calories because you're using instead of regular flour I'm using um, nut flours um, coconut flour. Um, this one's actually made with almonds and a little bit of coconut and I'll maybe get around to posting the recipe here. I don't know if you can see. That's quite a big good sized muffin right there. That's easy, easily enough for two people for breakfast. Um, or at least two people my size. <laughs> so um, I went camping this past weekend, and I made a cinnamon roll muffin with the same setup um, out at Roaring Plains, and I had more than enough to satisfy myself, plus pass it around for a few people to share, to, to try it out. Um, so anyway, there you have it. You have the caldera cone, and when I go to pack this up, I would put this inside my baking can, which is, you know, plain old soup can, Put this inside my Foster's pot. I put my, my alcohol. I have carry my spare matches and a lighter in here. The cool thing about the Starlight is whatever fuel you have left over, you can cap it off and drop it in. My eating utensils. These are really neat. I've only used these on the one trip. They're really cool. Ever new chopsticks. They're plastic, so they're pretty lightweight. And then you can also convert it into a spork. Ooh. So I'm going to package this all up. Put the lid on it. I, since, because I like to bake and I like to drink my coffee at the same time, I just have one of those, um, like the Healthy Choice Campbell's soup cups. I have half of the Caldera Cone um, plastic caddy with a homemade cozy. This is a little cup that I use to scoop up my water um, when I'm treating my water with my Sawyer Squeeze. So I like to keep it packaged up with my stove because I um, lose things if I don't have them all packaged together. And then lastly, I put all of this in my little hammock gear. This is from my last tarp. 
my little uh, hammock gear Cuban bag. And this is just like the perfect size for this. So let's see how much this all weighs. Now we're keep in mind it has, uh, it's still wet from my baking, and it also has my fuel in it. And I'm at 11.6 ounces. Um, I'm not going to be able to show this to you, but you have to take my word for it, 11.6 ounces. So that's a pretty sizable cook kit. It's still lighter than my ever new 1.3. Um, I can, it's a 20 ounce pot and I can bake with it. So I can't wait for a bake off medicine man. Maybe we can get together in one of these Mahas one of these times and try it out.